the four hole challenge. We're down here at North Middlesex Golf Club and this is the home of B. <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm good, man. I'm good. All well? Yeah, all good, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Just looking forward to these four holes. Four holes? Are uh, you going to absolutely pull my pants down? That's the idea. Yeah? Yeah. Right, let's go. B. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> right, I'm not going to lie, Beef. I'm absolutely bricking it. Ah, don't worry, man. Just chill. Stance all right? Looking good. Yeah? Yeah. I know exactly why. I know exactly why. You know why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not going to tell you. You're not going to tell me. Not too after the challenge, right? <laughs> 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 no, I'll tell you, man. Not a great start. I'm left as well, but I know I'm all right there. <laughs> you've gone left, but you've also gone about 450 yards. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's playing with a bad back already, yeah? Oh, thought he'd... <laughs> Do you want to hit another one? Yeah. I know what it is, man. Has anyone ever said anything about your grip? No. No better man to say it than you, mate. Educational videos as well. Yeah, there. So the swing's good. Yeah. Swing's good, but the reason why is because that's so strong. So all it's going to do with that right hand is shut the face. Right. You need to get it more this way, over the club that way, not under or over. Okay. That way. Sometimes so I like see that, like, then... like that V when yeah. it's coming up that way a bit more. Yeah. Like that's that. it. Yeah, yeah, more over, yeah. It just feels weird though. It will feel weird, but it will stop the face shutting and that's why it'll go left. Okay. Gonna mess him up even more. It's great. Yeah, same. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it worked. <laughs> so beef, thank you so much, mate, for joining me no, on the four hole challenge. Nice. You must have got annoyed. I kept texting you, please do this, please do this. No, but... it's it's one of the things I wanted to do and yeah. stuff and like I know it's always going to be a good laugh with you. Oh, thank you, man. Uh, and things like that. But it's just timing, man. Time goes so fast. You're traveling, coming back, and going back and forward everywhere. And all of a sudden, four, five months, six months, years gone by yeah. without even realizing. But we're here now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, not a great start by me, but um, we'll get on the road. Um, normally, I say to the people on the four hole challenge, I say, What's your handicap and how long have you been playing for? There's no point asking you what your handicap is because you're a top golfer. But how long have you been playing for? Since I was four. Four? Yeah, since I was four, yeah. So my dad used to play and used to go over the local pitch and putts, like the little nine hole courses. And yeah, yeah just go and whack it around there. Just keep going round and round and round. And um, I joined this place when I was nine. So, yeah. Really? Yeah. And at what age did you think, do you know what? I could have a career in this. It was one of the weird things. I didn't really think about it too much. I was, I was playing like England boys stuff. And once that sort of finished and went into the men's, I didn't really enjoy the men's side of it. It got a bit more serious, less fun. And I ended up uh, meeting someone. I just said, look, why don't you give it a go, turn pro? And I was like, okay. So I didn't really think too much about it and play the mini tours. Um, and then just try and work my way up and see what would happen, you know. And I didn't really, again, think too much. I was like, if nothing happens for a couple of years, then I'll move on to something else. If it goes well, then we'll see. And yeah, it just sort of kept, just kept going well and ended up, yeah, like, like we are now. It's, it's pretty mad. That is crazy. And you say pretty mad. When you broke onto the scene, and obviously with the nickname Boo, it did go mad, didn't it? Unbelievable, was, rightfully so, because I love you when I mean, everyone does, but for you it must have been like, what? Yeah, it was like just something I'd never expected, never thought would ever happen. It, it was never a plan or anything, you no. know, it's just one of them things where, yeah, all of a sudden I turn up, uh, US Open, 
2016 and a few people start shouting beef and stuff and I'm thinking, like, what is going on here? Like, what is happening? Yeah. And then playing well when they open and that's when it just kicked off. And I was just like, yeah, was out and about and people were coming up after in the street and stuff like that. And I was just like, oh my God, what is this? Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm just used to like a small little club. Yeah. And that, hang around, mess around with my mates and that, play my golf, have fun and that was it. And the next thing, it's just like, bang. <laughs> like, what's happened here? And people asking me going like TV shows and same like Soccer AM and yeah. stuff like that. And it's a program again, I've watched since a kid. Right. And that now they're asking me to be on it and I'm like, oh my God. Like, yeah, what is happening? <laughs> that, like, please, yeah, 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 what is happening? Like, just, and I can't still really explain it. Yeah. Yeah. It's That's because you're a likeable fellow, mate, and people yeah. love you. But um, for people who don't know, why are you called Beef? It was actually, I think I was walking up this very hole, and my friend was walking down the hole over there. Yeah. And I had a big head of curly hair. I must have been about 12, and he kind of walked over, because there's a water there. You've got to walk across the bridge. Yeah. And um, walked past, and he come up, and he was like, look at you and your big head. It's like you got a big Charming. bit of beef. You got a big bit of beef on your head. He went, "You got a beef head," like that. One of my good mates, and that was it. He just called me beef head, and then told everyone, got shortened to beef, and that was it. And now half the world are going boo. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And he's basically made the nickname. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> what is a beef head though? Big head, like a fat head, isn't it? <laughs> Like a meathead. It's better to be called massive head, I suppose, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Every time you walk past, massive. Yeah. <laughs> right, here we go. Here's mine. Right, what, do, what took me through this first hole? Well, I reckon you've got about 175 yards. Wow. What is it, par four? Par four, yeah. yeah. Massive. You only want to, you want to keep it just right at that big tree there. Just keep right, it right, okay. that's where the green is, yeah. So what do you reckon, five iron? If you hit it about 175 yards, then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've, I've seen him hit one shot, and now he wants me to club him. I mean, oh my God. Right. Yeah, lovely, mate. There we go. Yeah, great Yay! Job. There I'm is. off the mark. So the beard has nothing to do with being called beef? Absolutely nothing, no. The thing with the beard was, um, I've played a lot of tournaments. I think it was 2015, and it's quite long. Yeah. And um, I wouldn't say it was at beard stage at that point. A few other players, caddies, make a few passing comments, and I was like, I'm going to leave it over Christmas, come back in the desert. It's going to be another two, two and a half months of growth in there, and uh, see what people say. Yeah. Thomas Bjorn was one of them. And right. I saw him coming. I was on the putting green. I saw him coming over, and I was like, hey, watch this. I shoved a load of teas in my beard and that, and he walked up and he just kind of looked at me and he was just like, what the f is that? Like this, like this. And I knew I was going to get a good reaction off him and stuff. And I only did it as a bit of a joke. Yeah. And then after I won Spain, I had a few funny comments from it right. saying like your beard's a bad image for golf, this and that. And I was like, do you know what? I'm going to keep it now. Good. Yeah. It like made How my is mind up. a bad up. image for golf? That's what I don't understand. No idea. It just doesn't make any sense. And I was just like, nah, I'm not listening to anyone. No. And then that's it. It just stuck. It is fantastic though, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, it's conditioned. Yeah? Yeah, moisturised. You moisturise, yeah? Soft. What, yeah, what sort of stuff do you put in it? Just sort of barber gives me, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's fantastic. <laughs> Could have told you anything, they'd just rub a good bit of custard in there or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> a bit of salt, a bit yeah. of pepper, beautiful. <laughs> Got to go a bit. Go! Oh, that's on there. It's different levels. And you're not and you're not happy with that? That's alright, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's unbelievable. Thank you. Got what, 14 putts to win the hole? <laughs> great. Yeah, great shot, mate. All right, isn't it? Yeah. I noticed I saw you the other week at um, the NFL and you were with Tyson Fury. Yeah, it was cool, man. Um, What's he like? Really nice. Yeah? Yeah, really nice. So, yeah, funny how I was standing there and we were lucky enough to be able to go pitch side as they were warming up. And I was just yeah, having a little look around and um, one of the guys with him come up and he's like, oh, do you want to come meet Tyson? I was like, yeah, of course. Went over and stuff and was having a chat and funny enough he's he's played a bit of golf yeah. in the past. Tyson Fury plays golf? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, he said before he, he went full time boxing he was playing a bit of golf. Yeah? Yeah. 
Yeah, he said he's played to about eight handicap. Amazing. If all the golfers had a fight, who's coming out on top? Oh. Who's the hardest golfer? Who's the hard knot? Oh, that's an interesting one. I think Scott Hend has a temper on him. Yeah. You wouldn't want to cross. He ain't stopping for no one, no. He's just, he's going. I, I wouldn't wind him up. Yeah? Yeah. I've heard Ernie back in the day. Owl's dog? Yeah. Really? Yeah, again, don't cross him. Ernie Owl's? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Big dude as well. Yeah, he's a, yeah, he's a yeah. big boy. Yeah. I just, cross him. I just don't think he looks like the, the fighting type. I think he's one of them, very chilled. Push yeah. the wrong button. <laughs> See, you. <laughs> See yeah. you later. Yeah, yeah, don't mess. <laughs> But talking about being double hard, I've seen you down the gym. You can lift some serious weight. Yeah, I enjoy it. Um, the problem is, enjoying the gym and enjoying food, one outweighs the other. Mm, yeah, slight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slight problem. Yeah, no, I do enjoy it, and like, I try and keep on top of it. It's one of the things. I try and keep on top, keep training, um, always trying to learn because yeah. I want to oh, hit the ball a bit further, and that, and stay injury free. So. Yeah, always trying to improve that, but yeah, it's one of the things I find really hard to do. But how much is that difference does that make? If you, you know you, you you bowl cut massively, how far further are you hitting that ball? I went through big training session last last year for about eight weeks. Yeah, and I'm probably hitting it about ten yards further. But yeah. it's maintaining it when I'm away, right. and it's like I don't want to be lifting them weights during tournaments. No. And that everything starts feeling different, and you lose that. I lose that kind of feel and comfortable feeling when I'm playing. So it's like trying to find a balance all the time. Yeah. And I'm always doing that. Yeah. Lose weight, put it on. Lose weight, put it on. And it's like I'm really at the moment trying to find the best way to stay consistent. Right. The Ricky Hatton of golf. That's what Ricky Hatton used to do. <laughs> yeah, basically. He, he used yeah. to stop a fight. Yeah. And then blow yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Problem is tournaments are all year round. Yes. Like, I don't have... So you haven't got that much time to put it all on. <laughs> no, I just put it on slowly <laughs> and consistently. <laughs> do you have any uh, tips for putting, Beef? What do you do before you line up? So I generally, obviously, yeah, go and have a good look around. Yeah. See what it's doing, and I think sometimes being super simple with it's the best way. So I, I kind of tell myself, right, it's uphill. Right. And it's going to go a bit right to left. That's the first thing I'll say to myself and really try and get the basic of what I'm doing in my head right. and make it clear. And it's definitely about picking a line and being uh, very decisive with it. Just go for it. Right. Don't hesitate. Don't get in two minds. So that's why I do it. And sometimes if I get a bit confused, I'll come and just stand like at a putt like that yeah. and try and feel where the, gra the ground is going, basically. So I know that the ground's going a bit a bit that way. If you stand across it, you'll be able to feel it. You'll feel more weight in your left shoe. This is what uh, we did. A th we did the four hole challenge with Jimmy Bullard and that's what he, exactly what yeah, he said. Yeah. And he was holding the fingers up as yeah, well. Yeah, you can do as well. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So it's just like a way of sort of, I try and sort of gather all the information I want and then yeah, pick where I'm going to hit it and go for it, man. Too much. Oh, but though. Ah. <laughs> you know you're talking about the adulation you get when you're playing golf. Yeah. So when there's hundreds of people around the green shouting "beef," does that affect your game? I'd say it did have an effect. Yeah. Um, but I've learned definitely to cope with it better now since working with psychologists. Yeah. Yeah. Because you're the kind of guy, and we've seen it on the television, you, you like to say hello to everyone. So I see you walking up to the green and be like, beef, and you'd be like, hello mate, hello mate, hello mate. And like, most people are like that, going for it, like thinking next shot, next shot. But you're so nice, you were just... It depends, if someone puts their hand out, you know, and I'm walking by there, I'm gonna high five them. Yeah. And stuff, and like, I can't, I'm you know, one of the people, I don't like to ignore anyone. Yeah. So yeah. Top man. Oh. Alan Parr. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough, beef one up. <laughs> beef two, throw first. <laughs> <laughs> We're good.
good. We're good. <laughs> you are very good. Warm up. Warm Look up is complete. Hell. What was that? That's three iron. Three iron? Yeah. Theory, you probably want to... I've got a three wood. But I'm going to need your help, mate. If that's all right. Let me tee up for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, smaller tee for a three wood, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's what... Again, it's what you're comfortable with. And you hit it like I'd hit a driver? Or yeah. like an iron? I'd hit it like a driver, yeah. So bring the hands round. Yeah, it's good, man. Oh, oh look at that. get up there, boy! Oh, oh look at that, Give man. Me some yeah. <laughs> You're known as a joker. Um, who else is funny? Are you taking on a night out for a laugh out of the golfers? I mean, uh, Stenson's good. I've heard this. Yeah, yeah, very dry. Yeah. Uh, sense of humour, but he's good. Yeah, I always have a laugh with him. Can it yeah. be quite brutal, like taking the mick out of fish and stuff? Just good value. I don't yeah. know if you saw him about, um, there was an exchange between him and Tiger. Right. And Tiger says, ah, oh, Henrik, like, thinks he's the funniest and tall, but he's not. And then Henrik kind of wrote back saying, well, the reason you've had so many injuries is from laughing from my jokes. <laughs> and sort of just got him straight back like that. And he's yeah. just like, oh, that's what he's like. It's just. Yeah. So he's quite quick, yeah? Yeah, quick. Yeah, he's funny, man. Okay, what's the Tiger's banter like? Is he alright? I've only ever met him once. Really? Yeah, I've only ever met him once and stuff. And yeah, didn't, didn't meet him long enough to know much about him, if that makes sense. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, it's been well documented, Beef, that you, you've had your problems with uh, mental health. Um, how are you now, mate? Yeah, good. I think, like, yeah, definitely speaking about it, has really helped and like I've always kind of said it how it is anyway so the reason I took time off early on in the season and stuff is because yeah I wasn't quite I wasn't myself right and it wasn't affecting like when I was away from the golf course you know I was fine yeah but as soon as I stepped back onto the golf course I thought about tournaments like the anxiety and like the worry about golf tournaments really? was causing me not I can play yeah so I pulled out a load of tournaments like last minute and stuff because I just I, I don't know why I just couldn't be there just can yeah I just couldn't get to the tournament and stuff and I think not knowing why yeah was frustrating me the most I'd say about it and then it kind of plays on mind and you know um my fiance Joe's was really good about it and stuff and and help me and she found a psychologist yeah um and once i started working with him things just become to make it just made sense after a while and i didn't realize after 2016 mm. going to america in 2017 and like the build up and like the amount of pressure i put on myself yeah was just crazy and i was expecting yeah to go there and like win tournaments and you're thinking like, if you don't, people ain't gonna like you, right? And stuff, and it's the kind There's of so that. So much pressure. Yeah, so much pressure. And then I come back after a few months, after about five months, and played Wentworth. I finished twenty, around twentieth at Wentworth, twentieth at Scottish Open, I think mid twenties at British Open, and I was I walked off the course every time, just thinking another crap week, another bad week not good enough, not good enough. And all of a sudden, yeah. my mindset had changed where they're good weeks. And it's only a couple shots for a top 10. Yeah. And that in some of the best fields you're going to play against the best players. So it's really, they're good weeks. Yeah, of course they yeah. <laughs> and I was looking at it just like, no, I had another bad week, another bad week. Um, and then I had a lot of change last year. And I think after all that, change of coach as well. Yeah. And he was just all of a sudden, he was like, oh my God, what is going on here? Everything's just changed. And I just couldn't understand why. And when you'd sort of dig into it and think, oh, it's all that pressure, it makes sense. Now, why I was feeling like that. Right, okay. Um, and ways to sort of manage that because the pressure you put on yourself, I don't think ever goes because 
that's the nature of it. You want to compete. It's you want to win tournaments. Sport, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, you want to win tournaments. And you're always worried about what people think. I felt like I'd failed massively in America. Um, yeah, so all of a sudden that mindset just changed. And yeah, I was sort of just beating myself up slowly yeah. over a period of a year and a half without even realizing. And then I wasn't myself on the golf course. I was miserable. I was angry. I didn't. I didn't want to involve into the crowd. I just wanted to just like. And that must be that away. must be super tough being you as well when everyone wants you to engage. Yeah, I just I just wanted to get away from it. Yeah. So it was. Yeah, but I said away from the course, I was fine. Yeah. Uh, as soon as there's an so environment. So it didn't affect your personal life. No, what, no, no, Jody, I was fine. Your I was go out, have fun, go for dinner, do whatever, fine. Yeah. As soon as I start thinking about golf and even building up to a tournament, yeah. I was like, like, wanted to like just smash something, and I was like angry already wow. before I even went to the tournament. Jesus. Yeah. Well, so, mate, it's honestly so good to see you back. <laughs> no, Cheers, man. On a seriously, because I've been through it before. Like, I, I, yeah. I, I had it when my dad died. My dad died um, a few years back, and for a year I was fine. I was looking after mum and yeah. my brother. And then all of a sudden, I've got like, the, the post-traumatic stress and yeah. the depression, and it's horrible. You feel worthless, don't you? You feel yeah. like you're not good enough. People don't like you. I, I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah, but yeah. I, I turn to alcohol. And yeah, that's the thing. It's like very easy to, and it's hard to say stuff. I didn't, I didn't say stuff for ages, and I was like, no, I'm fine. It's just. But like, that's what men do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't say anything. I'd just go and get a bottle of vodka. Yeah. And get absolutely smashed. And yeah. everyone was like, oh, yeah, he tubes is drunk again. But because I didn't talk, no one knew. And then it has like a knock on effect because. Family. They think you're having fun because you're hammered. Yeah. And then obviously, tubes being that that funny character all the time and that, people yeah. come up to you expecting that to be you. Yeah. And yeah, and ideally, you just want to get away and people have got no idea no. of what's going through someone's head. But it was horrible. It was horrible. We're through it now. Bring it in, man. Yeah. But it is very important if you're having problems, speak about it. It's big time. I, I think a majority of people, no matter what they do in life, go through something like that. Yeah. It's the majority. I, I generally think that. And it doesn't matter what you do, where you are, how successful you are, and that, it's... It can happen to anyone. It happens to anyone, yeah. Mm. But yeah, need to speak up. Hold on, one sec. <laughs> I've outdriven beef. He did take an iron, but that don't matter. <laughs> yes! Are you going to pace it? Huh? <laughs> Absolutely puzzled about that. This is coaching, though. Do you ever laugh with your caddy? Yeah, yeah. Is that what it's all about, just to take your mind off the actual game? Everyone's different, and like, I like to have someone, yeah, chat to. Yeah. My caddy just loves talking. It's great. We chat about anything on the golf course. Yeah. One of the funniest ones was the Sunday of Scotland. I was playing well, a nice score going, and we were just chatting about different card games. Honestly. <laughs> what? Just, it, you spend, honestly, well, you're with them five, six, seven hours a day. Yeah. So you're going to chat about absolutely anything, everything, yeah, football, whatever, sport. Yeah, he loves a good Brexit chat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <laughs> talk me through the card game chat. So you're, talk, you're walking down going, I don't know, about seven, I'm like, hmm. No, because we're not at the ball yet, so you're just walking. It's like yeah. what we're doing now and stuff. You walk down, just have a general chat. Um, like, like what though? Like, oh, I'll tell you what, I had a good game of Snap the other week. Yeah, 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 yeah basically, yeah. I was like, you played Uno. <laughs> Uh, it was just, yeah, just telling me about, I can't remember what card game it was now, but yeah, just telling me like rules of it. Yeah. You play it, yeah, all different card games. And On the subject of caddies, some of the players are really horrible to them, aren't they? Can be, yeah. And I, that upsets me, I'm not even a golfer. I just think it's like, I see the other one, I can't remember who it was the other day, just chucked his club at him. <laughs> it's just like absolute liberty. Yeah. It, Obviously, it's one of the most frustrating sports and you've got so long to think about it and it does get to the point where you can throw a club and it will happen to anyone at some point. Yeah. You, can't, you can't turn around and say, oh, you shouldn't be throwing clubs because at one point you'll be throwing the club as well. Yeah. It's just that frustration. But 
you've got to think of a caddy. It's like you're on the same team. Yeah. And that and you're trying to make a decision or, yeah, trying to pick the right club to hit that shot. He's not doing it to to get it wrong. No, he's trying to get it right as well. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't understand why you'd have a go at a caddy. Yeah, you just talk cards instead. Just talk anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just talk absolutely anything. Keep that six hand. Hit the six. I think that's, a, is that a six? Though? Yeah. Is it? It's a nine, isn't it? You've got a nine out. Yeah. I know, you've got a nine. <laughs> You got a six? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I did. It's there, there. It's under the bottom. <laughs> yes. Cheers, Caddy. No, get lost. <laughs> no, nutted. P. All right there. Rolled it down. It's not good. Do you have a, like a golf psychologist? Yeah, it's golf. It's more, yeah, golf life psychologist. It's the same things in life, and it's that's what I'm learning. It's like the same things happen on a golf course, same things happen in life, you know? You might hit a good shot, get a bad bounce, right? end up in a bunker. Yeah. I hit a good shot. It's the same as you do something well and it doesn't go quite right in life. It happens, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's unfair. Of yeah, yeah. And I think that's the key. And Paul's just there. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have, I could have but, walked but, you all the way but, to the grip. But some of the golf, golfers like, have mind coaches, don't they? To like, yeah, on, on course. It's the same have thing. You, have, yeah. you, have you had that? Yeah. So what, what do the, these coaches actually sort of tell you? Like, I think on the golfing like, environment. Just focus on process. It's the biggest thing. So if you're worried about trouble or like water hazard yeah. or anything, it's like, hang on, what am I doing in my swing? And concentrate on that and I know what I'm working on my swing has been really good the last year with new coach so it's like just keep doing that if I hit it in the wall so what I'm just going to keep doing it because I know at some point it's going to be good right, exactly. and it's a matter of just just keep doing it and not worry about the outcome too much and I think it's the best thing because it's like training the mind isn't it to sort of believe yeah, in what you're actually doing it's outcome based game isn't it it's yeah. all outcome but you can't worry about the outcome you just got to let it be yeah and not think about it too much it's clever I like yeah. it Right, so I'm going to play my shot like that. It's in my That's mind. It. Nut. Stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Congratulations. You're having a baby calf. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I know, man. You must be absolutely buzzing. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, it's been quite surreal most of the year with it, and now it's getting to the point where yeah, it's real. <laughs> and yeah, I ain't got long to go now, so, so yeah, it's exciting. And when's baby beef due? December third. Yeah. Yeah. Oh mate. I yeah. Can tell so now, but you're talking about it, you're just so yeah, overwhelmed by them. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Just not quite sure what to what to expect really, and. Just to get to the point, I think, yeah, just want just want the baby to come now. Yeah. And that, uh, and don't want to wait much longer. Have you been practicing nappies and stuff like that? Hey, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Absolutely not. No, I like you to wing it, <laughs> I guess. And do we know if it's a boy or a girl? Don't know yet. No, no just keep Find it. Find out on the... Yeah, just keep it. Yeah? Yeah, keep it. Just see what happens, man. And we talk names? I'm not saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying I'm anything. I'm so excited, isn't you? I love it, I love it. <laughs> Like a pendulum, innit? That was, just do what you're doing there, yeah. it's lovely. Yeah, lovely, man. What do you think of the new rule? Keeping the uh, flag in, or out, or whatever you want. Yeah, I don't mind it, man. It's, it was quite weird, like they've changed that, and you can tap like anything down in your line now. So, like sometimes after, you've got 150 players on, on the course and it gets a bit scuffed. Yeah. You can just kind of tap it down on the line, which is new. And I guess that took... Well, that you weren't was, allowed to do that before, no? No, no, you weren't allowed. That took some getting used to. Yeah. So what, it's back in the day then? So if it was like someone had scuffed it like something, you couldn't touch it? No. That's nonsense, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, and they changed that. But like a couple of times you're like... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like, can I tap it? It was weird, like playing like that for yeah twenty years. <laughs> I 
I don't know what you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, I've bent down to line the board up. My arse crack has come out, innit? And <laughs> 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 <And that> it... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I knew the cameras were this way, so it was all right. I saw Jody behind you just going. <laughs> Oh. oh, stop, stop. Oh my God. Oh my, oh! Oh. 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 I told you, man, it's all about being comfortable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before each putt, just get your ass cracked out. <laughs> I might do it. Go on. Oh, you oh. dick. Useless. Oh, that's unlucky, man. <laughs> oh, you can take that. You get the you get the golfer's rage too. Oh, it's annoying. Oh. Yeah. Deep. Two up. <laughs> Loving this. <laughs> Loving this. <laughs> Give it an absolute slap. Oh, macaroni on toast! Oh, I'd be alright. How far do you reckon you've hit that? Oh, I don't know. It's cold, man, today. 280. 280? 270, 280, yeah. Funny what's... story about this hole. Yeah. Playing, it's the hardest to play against my mates when we play because they, they get so many shots right. off me. And we're playing this hole, and I've hit it. Well, it looked about this far away from the hole and my friend just turned around and went, don't worry, we'll just hit it a bit closer. And we all laughed at him. He said it literally that far. Mine was about this far. Seriously? Yeah, I had to hold a putt to half the hole <laughs> and that, and I was giving him like nine shots. Yeah. Yeah, no chance we're winning. <laughs> Do all your uh, mates back here play? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so the guys I grew up with as juniors and stuff, we still, yeah, try and get out and play. Yeah. Yeah. And do they come on tour with you and support you? They'll come to some of the local ones like Wentworth and, and stuff, yeah, if the British Masters are close, yeah. And I've seen Jody goes quite a lot. Travels with me, yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's great having your best mate travel around with, it's the best. Yeah, and how did you guys meet? We met, well, funny enough, we met, the story was um, this girl come up for a selfie at Wentworth Pro-Am last right. year and I got home, my caddy was staying with me at the time, and he matched her on Tinder, this girl on Tinder, and right. they were talking. Mr. Carl Wentworth went, went out on the Saturday, they had a Champions League final on and stuff like that. We went out, and he was messaging basically her housemate um, and said, like, oh, come along, we'll meet up. Yeah. Met out from there, and that, that was it, yeah. I really said it was a Tinder date, but it wasn't a Tinder date. It was them, yeah, they, they kind of went on Tinder and, and it just, was... You were just hanging on? Yeah, it was like my friend, her friend, and yeah, we, we met and that was it, yeah. Now you're having a baby? Now having a baby, yeah. yeah. Bloody days! <laughs> <laughs> Easy as that, man. That's awesome. <laughs> I've, no, I, I've had no luck on Tinder. I don't have luck anywhere. <laughs> Very rare moment, I didn't know what to say. <laughs> Jody, got any mates? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to line you up. <laughs> yeah, sure, mate. There. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, perfect, eh? Yeah. Yeah, good shot, man. Nice. It's going on, isn't it? We need to do something together. Oh, mate, I'd love that. We need to work something out. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Oh, oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> I take it they're playing through. <laughs> playing through, yeah? <laughs> it's just no nonsense at this golf club. Don't mess around. You play slow that absolute, and then you can forget it. Don't play slow. That's absolute thug yeah, life. Yeah. Brutal. Absolutely brilliant. Um, <laughs> so it's all next to come. <laughs> What's the name, Audrey? Just... <laughs> Audrey. Brutal Audrey. Oh, oh wow. 
So yeah, we were talking about the love you get from fans. Do you ever get any dickheads when you're out in America? Do you know, you get dickheads everywhere, man. Like, I think that, that again, is being aware of what people are saying and not caring what people think Yeah. as well. Yeah, if you, if you make a mistake, a lot of people come up harmlessly, but come up and be like, what happened on 14? And, so yeah. and it's like, oh, well, yeah, cheers. Yeah, I, I played <laughs> and, a really bad shot, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, yeah, you get people shout stuff out. Um, yeah, people could just get, I don't know, too much drink or whatever, or just, yeah, think it's funny, just shout stuff out, but you've got to be prepared for that. I mean, it's pretty soft compared to other sports. Pitching wedge. So hang on, what's this, my second shot? Yes. Come on. Oh, you... <clears throat> Why has it happened? <laughs> I don't know, it's just off the slope can be quite difficult. Your weight gets behind it instead of going onto your left side. So, you just catch the ground a bit. So when you're chipping off a slope, what should you be doing differently? Here, yeah. I'd, I'd be trying to like just keep my weight on my left side a bit more. Right. And yeah, just try and keep more on the left side so you stay kind of... So you like, Yeah. Wrong yeah, because I think if, if you're... If you're behind it, it's easy to stay there yeah. and then not move. So you just end up behind it. Right. Like that. So yeah, I try and keep, stay on it. Right, can I give that a go then quickly? Yeah, of course. Left, left. Is the stance all right? Yeah, that's yeah. good. I'm on the left. Oh yeah, much better. There you go. Yeah. You should be a coach. You, you really go. should be a coach. Beef in the bunker. <laughs> oh my. Oh, oh spinach. Oh. What should I be doing here? Pitching wedge? Or I'd go maybe a bit more loft, like a sand iron or something. More loft? Yeah, a little bit. So I'm going I'm, I'm playing for the loft. Do you know how you hit the shot on the last one? Yeah. Like just, that. Just like that, yeah. Exactly the same. Yeah, same, same thing. thing. But again, yeah, just a bit slower. Right. So just not as fast. Not as fast. Yeah. Like that? Yeah, exactly. Just slow it down a little bit. There you go. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> just call me Coach Carter, <laughs> mate. <laughs> go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I thought we were about to do the birdie dance. <laughs> 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 oh, well. Three up, game over. I'm definitely carrying on, mate, because I'm having a bloody good time. <laughs> oh, it's got to get left a little. Stay there. Yeah, it's okay there. <laughs> <laughs> Follow that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jesus. Wrap your hands round. Coach Carter told me. Wrap round. Coach. <laughs> Take that. Yeah, that's fine, mate. That'll, right. That'll do. Yeah, sure. Right. <sighs> Beef, you're a massive Arsenal fan. Uh, what have you made of it this season? Shambles, really. I thought, I thought Emery did a decent job like last season. Yeah. And all the, they had a poor finish, but I thought well, that's all right. You know, buy a few players, it's more his team, and they seem to have just got worse this season. I know it's early on, but again, like spending money in the wrong places. Yeah. Although Pepe might become a great player. I thought surely they need a good midfielder, a good defender yeah. first. And it just seems to, that's what seems to happen there. Just sort of spent in the wrong place and still can't defend. It's, it's, it's strange. And this is quite, at the moment, a lot of people are saying Emery out, Emery out. Surely it's too soon to get him out, isn't it? I think it's too soon. Yeah, I do. I think you've got to see what happens during the course of the season. As I said, it's early, but yeah. it's... It's just, 
it's strange, it's not right there, but I think it goes all the way through past the manager yeah. into the owners as well. Yeah. So I think there's a lot more behind it, but they're not in Arsenal, they're not in a good place at the moment. Right. And if you could play a round of golf with one Arsenal player, current or back in the day, who would it be? I've been trying to line up a game with Ian Wright for ages. He was the reason I supported Arsenal. Really? Yeah, so funny enough, my dad was a Tottenham fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was because watching Ian Wright as a kid, I yeah. just loved watching him play and the big smile he had on his face. It, I just, yeah, I just instantly took to him and that was it. He played for Arsenal and that was it. I've become an Arsenal fan. So yeah, I've been trying to, yeah, line up a game with him. How has this not happened? Timings. Writing. Get this sorted, pal. Yeah, sort it out, right? Yeah, I've been trying to get him on this as well. <laughs> Let's do a three-way. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, def. But yeah, we need to. What would you like to ask him? Oh, he just, just general chit chat. You know, he just seems like a great. I've met him briefly and stuff, and just seems yeah, like, real good guy. I really enjoy listening to him on the TV. I think yeah, he talks a lot of sense. Yeah. On there and stuff, and yeah, just love to have a round of golf with him and yeah, get to know him, man. Apparently he's. He can play as well. Apparently he's a good golfer. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. And this is a question I ask everyone on the old four-hole challenge. If you could have a caddy for the day, past or present, anyone in the world from any area, who would it be and why? Oh. Oh, I'd love to have Muhammad Ali caddy be wicked wouldn't it? yeah that'd be mega yeah i just love the story love how what he's stuck up for um and yeah that's what that's what he believed in that's what he stuck up for and like after all the people yeah sort of just on his case and stuff he just carried on battered through it and i think that says a lot about him yeah, yeah. i think it'd be so cool you wouldn't hit a bad shot though would you Sorry, Caddy. <laughs> yeah, I went for a club at him. <laughs> oh, Mohammed, hold that. Yeah. You what, mate? Right. Stop that. On on the other hand, someone like Will Ferrell too. I love it just the cat. I just think it'd be one of the funniest days. Oh, I've met him. Have you? Yeah, he's hilarious. He like proper cracks me up. I'll tell you a funny story about Will Ferrell. Actually. I did one of the junkets, and I, I, the rap was. You're top man, you are Will. I've got an addiction. Ooh, orange pill. I ripped my shirt. I had orange pill all around my neck. And he just looked at me like that. We just looked at each other. But he loved it. So, so we, just had, we just talked about oranges for ages and my addiction to orange pill and oranges and stuff like that. So afterwards, I said, can I ask a massive favour? Please, can I ask a massive favour? He went, yeah, yeah, tubes, no problem, tubes. I said, my mate's getting married and you're, you're his hero. So would you mind just doing a quick line about, about the wedding and the wedding coming up? It's Gary and Gemma. He went, yeah, okay. He was like, tell me a bit about them. I was like, well, all I want is a line. Anyway, he did like a three and a half minute message. No way. And it was the funniest thing he was saying. I'm, in, I'm involved in a love triangle with you guys. You don't know yet, but I'll be on the honeymoon and we'll do stuff. It was just the funniest thing ever. And I just played it at the wedding. No way. The, be the best best man speech ever. I didn't even say a word. I just played, <laughs> played, played, played the video. But imagine, That's... imagine him being your caddy. Oh, it'd just be epic, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely epic. You wouldn't be able to hit a shot. You'd just be creasing up laughing the whole time. Yeah, exactly. That's where you want. Just to go out and just have an absolute laugh. Exactly. Yeah. Talk about cards. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, bet yeah. you like to a good game of cards. Yeah, we'll talk about some <laughs> cards. Maybe collecting stamps or something. <laughs> yeah, shot, mate. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, I've given you a chance here, Chief. Yeah. On, go. Yeah, it's oh. better there. A bit harder, but. Yeah. It's got to go a little. Oh. Ah. Uh, so you need that for four piles in I a need row. That. Commit to it. Oh. 
Oh, the lion. <sighs> Good lion, man. Come on, four pars in a row. Go on, go on. Uh, oh, too wide. Too wide. So that was the four hole challenge and I lost by four to the legend beef, mate. Thank you so much, mate. Yeah, hey, wicked, man. It was good, wasn't it? That was great fun, yeah. yeah. Real nice, yeah. Cool. And mate, uh, best of luck with the little baby beef. That's it, yeah, the calf. Yeah, <laughs> the calf is coming. <laughs> mate, thank you so much again. Wicked. Absolutely cheers, brilliant. Cheers. What Thanks, a legend. Boom. <laughs>